This weekend I will be playing in a soccer, or more accurately, a futsal tournament. So I wanted to talk about sports. I've had a long history of involvement in sports and played a lot in my youth. Now the only sports I play are soccer and hockey, if the opportunity arises. For me, hockey has always been my favorite sport. It's the only one I took seriously and not just for fun, though I still find a lot of fun in it. I first want to go over the sports I played, then I'll go into more detail on what I liked about the ones I played the most. From a young age, I learned to skate and played hockey. I joined my local minor hockey association when I was six or seven. I also joined the Youth Soccer Association and the Junior Golf Club at young ages. In elementary school, I would always join the cross-country running team. I would later play softball and curling, as well as a short stint on my middle school basketball team. Of course, I did other individual sports as well, like biking, swimming, jogging, etc. But not in an organized fashion, just casual fun. Of the three sports I played the most, golf would be the one I take the least seriously. I think golf is a perfect social game. Most people who play it are also only there for a fun social outing, and it's not likely anyone I ever golf with will take it too seriously out on the course. It makes for a fun place to go out with some friends, chat, and still have something to do. There was never any thought in my mind of going places with golf, and it always came as just a fun way to pass the time. When it comes to soccer, looking back, it's likely the sport I could have done the most with. It's probably the sport I have the most skill in, but I don't have the mindset for it. I love playing soccer casually, such as drop-in or recreational leagues, but as soon as people start taking the game too seriously, I stop having fun, or at least as much fun as I would otherwise. The culture surrounding soccer was always one I couldn't get into. From the diving to the dirty tactics that are expected of top-end players, I never had any respect for that, and it really spoils the game for me. An example I often like to use for explaining this is in the 2018 World Cup Finals. Once France took the lead, it was so frustrating to watch because often the players would do so many things to just kill the time, such as when the ball is given to them for a throw-in, they'd mishandle it, drop it, or seemingly forget how to play soccer entirely. Or the rolling around on the ground hurt on any bit of contact. I get that's the world's largest stage and they'll do anything to win, but those same tactics I've seen used at all levels of play. However, I still love it, and when it's just being played casually, I find it extremely fun. It's a sport that's really easy to play. All you need is a ball. So now it's the sport I play the most, thanks to various drop-ins I can take part in. As for hockey, it will always be my favorite sport. I have so many great memories from being a part of different teams and the successes or even, in some cases, the failures we had. Hockey is the opposite to soccer for me. The more competitive the game gets, the more fun I have. My favorite moments from hockey were always from playoffs, provincials, and tournaments. I even remember later on playing in a recreational tournament against one of the stronger teams. As the game got more heated, everyone started trying harder, and it no longer even felt like a beer league game. It was like going back to some of the highest levels of competition I had previously played in. I think the mentality for hockey, while its attitudes may still have some dangers, is one that I have an immense amount of respect for. Warriors of the Ice. Playing as part of a team, whether that's hockey, soccer, baseball, or whatever, is something really special. The friends I made from different teams I've played on over the years has led to friendships that will last a lifetime. While I may not see some of those guys very often anymore, I know any time I do see them, we'll always have that sport in common. Also, playing in drop-in leagues for soccer has allowed me to meet many people I never would have otherwise. So while I may have said some things that make it seem as though I wouldn't be too excited about playing in a soccer tournament this weekend, I'm actually really looking forward to it. Getting the chance to be on a team again, vying for a championship, will certainly lead to some great camaraderie. If there's enough to say about it, I'll do a follow-up after the tournament on how it went. Thanks for watching.